In this tutorial, we're going to look at editing multiple cameras from a live production. We're going to import our cameras angles. So in this, we have three of them. We're going to go to live from Northampton and video. I already have the back camera two and the vocals. So I'm just going to bring in the side guitar. The first thing that I do is I use the back camera as the base camera. So that's going to be on track number one. So you can just drag that in here and that's going to be the base right here. Okay. So uh, once you have that base, uh, you can drag your the, the camera that you think that you're going to use the second least I would say. Um, so side camera right here, so you can bring that in too. Now, if, hopefully this is the same song, I, I really, yeah, it is, because it's the um, harmonica. So if you have two pieces of media, what you can do is select them both, right click, and synchronize. This is asking you where you want to synchronize. So you want to synchronize, and this is going to, if you have check channel uh, two or one, it's going to shift everything to... Uh, get to the point where it's going to it's going to sync basically with track two, so it's going to move. Uh, I think it's going to move track two. So you can see that it just shifted a little bit, and now it's found a point for both of these. So a couple of things are your best friend. First, the eye because you can hide a track, and you can see uh, if you want to hide temporarily a track like that. Um, so we have these two that are synced. So now we can take the vocals, bring those in. And the only problem is when you go like this and right click, typically you can't hit synchronize. I don't know why you can, do, maybe it's an update, but if you have more than one track, you typically can't synchronize. But I'm gonna highlight all these, and I'm gonna hit synchronize. And it's going to go through the process and it's going to actually sync up all of these. Now, it's going to have all these synced, but you're only going to want to use the backtrack of uh, audio one. Because the backtrack of audio one was our good, our good audio. The other ones were scratch audio, meaning they're there for sync purposes. But uh, you can see that this is the track that's... Um, that is is all set up here. Now, these ones we're gonna mute, and we're just gonna use this back audio track right here from the back camera. And so we can play like that. Uh, the important thing you wanna do though, is once you have all of this all set, you wanna right click and unlink. And the reason being is that we now can take our razor tool and go through and cut in accordingly. So if I'm playing, for instance, and I want to cut to that uh, back camera, I'm going to use my razor tool. The C key is the shortcut for it. So I can cut here. I can use the V key to get to my selection tool and then just peel back. So it's going to be playing to this and then it's going to go to the side guitar. And it goes over here. Now, this is, we can't use this part until right here, right? So we can, so we have a little bit too shaky of a camera. And so this isn't really usable here, so now I'm going to hit the C key again for a razor. I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to go all the way down to this layer. So it's going to go down to the back camera right here. So, so now I have that, and I might want to, again, go back up to the vocal camera. The song's called Glass of Happiness. And so he, he kind of looks in the camera and says that, and then he goes into this. So I'm going to go back over here. And 
So now he has kind of like this moment of he, he's kind of messing up. So I'm going to cut C, the C key, then the V key, and I'm going to peel back. So it's going to go to vocal, then it's going to go to back camera, then it's going to go to side guitar. So... Boom. Beautiful. Right? So the other thing is, if you hold, uh, if I'm going to see again, if you hold the shift key, you can cut everything like that. V key, delete, and you can tighten it, tighten everything up. Now be careful because nothing is linked. And so if you move this like this, it's going to throw off your entire, your entire track. Okay. So as you're doing those cuts, you want to you want to be careful not to move anything, but it frees up you cutting clips like this and preserving the audio and everything. Okay? The way that you do this, so you want you want to do it probably every you want to cut every 3 to 9 seconds. That's what I usually do. So if you look at here, so this is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 two, three. So you see, if we, if we do this too short, it's going to be, it's going to look weird. So it's like, so you want to have between three and nine seconds of, of cut of, uh, of song. And you want to kind of like, kind of match up things. So if he's, um, if he's singing, you're obviously going to cut to the vocal more. If he's playing guitar, you're going to cut to the guitar more. Right. And so, I usually start in a in a wide shot and I end it in a wide shot unless there's kind of like some um, like smiling or things going on. So I brought it I brought everything in. I selected everything, right click and synchronize, then right click unlink. It's linked now, but unlink and then I use the C key to cut pieces and the V key to peel it back and I use every three to nine seconds.